Hi everyone, Steph here from handsbagholic.co.uk. Now today I have with me an authentic Louis Vuitton Palm Springs mini backpack. Now since this bag is so sought after, there are a lot of fakes on the market as well. And I recently ordered one on eBay. I have actually sent the bag back now, but before I did that, I actually took some close-up shots of this authentic bag and the fake one to help you distinguish between a real and a fake bag. The fake was a really good one, but one of the things I don't condone is people selling fake designer bags as authentic. It happens far too often, and that's why I've pulled together this fake versus real video for you today. If you like it and would like to see more, please don't forget to hit the subscribe button where I'll be doing lots more real versus fake. And if you'd like to see this comparison in more detail and close up, Hit the small eye in the corner up here, I'll link you off to a blog post which has details of the real and the fake Palm Springs Mini up much more closely. Now today I have with me two Louis Vuitton Palm Springs Mini backpacks. The one on the left is real and the one on the right is actually a fake. As you can tell, these are really similar looking bags, so we're going to go through in more detail what the differences are. One of the first things that you can see with these two bags is that the real one on the left hand side has more of a sheen, um, it's slightly brighter, the monogram print is lighter, the brown monogram is more of a chocolate colour, whereas the fake bag is slightly darker. But as you can probably tell from these two bags together, they are incredibly similar in terms of the print. Now this is the zip and you can see the Louis Vuitton tab there. On the real one, this canvas flap here is slightly thicker and the tab at the bottom of the bag is made from real leather. So this is slightly softer um, on the real bag compared to the fake one. So now let's take a look, a closer look at the fake one. Again, the colour isn't as chocolatey. This flap here is thinner and the tab is kind of printed on a plastic, um, but you can tell that it's not real leather. The same with the bottom strap on the bag. One of the biggest giveaways with a fake Louis Vuitton bag is actually the packaging. So the real packaging is on the left. This is a standard Louis Vuitton box. It has a magnetic closure. And with this bag also came a Louis Vuitton dust bag, which is inside the box here. And the dust bag is in a standard soft cotton in beige. The Louis Vuitton logo is printed clearly. There are no ink splatters and it is just simply overlocked on the edges. Now if we take a look at the fake packaging, this box is a fake Louis Vuitton box. Louis Vuitton do not sell bags in this particular box with the gold uh, monogram. The handle's also incorrect with the two, with the ribbon poking through. So this is the dust bag of this fake Palm Springs backpack. As you can see, it's not the same colour. From the touch and feel of the fabric, it's not the same. It feels more rough. The Louis Vuitton isn't printed very clearly. You can see ink splatters where the ink has ran into the canvas here of the dust bag. And it just overall doesn't feel as good a quality and it's not as soft as the authentic bag. Here we have um, a booklet which came with the fake Louis Vuitton bag. It's more like a grey orange colour, so I'm just going to compare this to the authentic box. You can see that the orange is just not as bright, so watch out for this because obviously this has been printed and it's just not as bright. It's more like a dull orange grey as opposed to the kind of rustic orange of the authentic Louis Vuitton box. Now we'll take a closer look at the fronts of these bags. So the leather Louis Vuitton tab on the front of the bag is usually a good giveaway. The tab on the authentic bag is a leather. The Louis Vuitton is printed clearly and on the fake bag, it has like um, an embossed leather effect into the plastic and the Louis Vuitton is not as clear. 
Also the flaps on the bag. So this flap is thicker on the real and it's thinner on the fake, which you can see the kind of depth of these. Here's the tag close up and the tag and zipper close up on the fake, again embossed with like a leather print, but an incredibly good copy. The leather tab on the bottom, this is the real one. This is not as flexible on the fake as it's made from plastic, not leather, which you can see here. Now taking a look at the sides of the bags, very, very similar. You probably wouldn't really notice um, some of these differences without having a real one to hand. You can see that the print is slightly further out, some of the kind of monogram print on the real one. Again, the monogram is slightly brighter. The top handle, the stitching is very similar. The top handle on the authentic one is stronger. The one on the fake is softer and easier to squidge. Again, not made from real leather. The top handles look very similar in size. The stitching, again, very, very similar on these two bags. Uh, the hoops where you attach the detachable straps on the Palm Springs Mini, these look almost identical from the real to the authentic. You can't tell much difference here. And if we look at the back of the bag, again, it's very, very similar. You can see that the brightness uh, of the monogram print on the real one stands out a lot more and is shinier. The stitching is really clean and is brighter than the stitching on the fake one. So we go, it's maybe a slightly less puffy in between the stitching. But again, to the untrained eye, this is um, an incredibly good fake Louis Vuitton Palm Springs backpack. So you can see the two, there's a slight, again, more shine to the real one and the fake one has more of a dullness. So now let's take a look inside the authentic bag as this is a bigger giveaway uh, on the real versus the fake. So inside the reel, it's lined with a black cotton fabric. You can see that the fabric sits nicely inside the bag. Here we have the leather tab. So you can tell this is on leather. Sometimes the logo isn't so legible just because the leather softens over time. So this will depend on how old the bag is. But again, you can see that the lining fits nicely inside the bag. Here is the fake. And here is the lining. Now this flap is a lot harder to open than the real one because the materials aren't as soft. The lining looks very similar, but there seems to be excess lining. This is the leather tab inside. So again, it's been embossed. It has like a glazed edge, which the authentic one doesn't, as if it's been made from plastic again. The lining doesn't sit so well inside the bag. You can kind of see excess around the sides. It's not as neat. I mean, overall, they both look very similar. The lining of the fake one is actually darker. It's a darker black than the real one. They're both black, um, but again, the fake one almost seems like a really dark navy almost, whereas the authentic lining is lighter. The stitching is very similar to the two there, but again, as you can see here, the flap is easier and opens wider on the authentic one as well. So now let's take a look at the biggest giveaway of these bags. So on the authentic bag, the date code can be found in the inside of the internal pocket and it has been embossed with gold foil on a leather tab. The back of the tab is like a raw leather. There is no glazed edging to this. It literally is a leather tab with the date code on. If you'd like to find out more about the date codes inside Louis Vuitton bags, hit the small i in the top right hand corner now and I'll link you off to a blog which explains what these are. Now if we take a look at the fake bag, the tab is a lot bigger than the authentic one. You can see that 
it's not very clear, it's not been embossed, the back of it isn't isn't the same as a, a real leather piece. The embossing isn't clear at all. You can kind of briefly see something, and this can be the case in some Louis Vuitton bags as they get older, but the shape of the date code tab is completely wrong, and this is the biggest giveaway, I think, of these two bags, because they are very similar, um, is the date code, and you can just see the difference in size there. So now let's take a look at the straps of these backpacks. You can see that the this is the authentic strap. This is made from a soft leather. The hardware is shiny but not too shiny, which you can see. The hardware has Louis Vuitton printed on it and the stitching is nice and clean. Now if we look at the fake bag, these aren't made from a soft leather, they're more plastic. You can see that the authentic straps dangle nicely. So this is the fake hardware. They don't dangle nicely, they kind of sit taut. Again, because they're in plastic, not a soft leather. The hardware is shinier. Without seeing them side by side, this can be a hard comparison. So here, the real is on the left, the fake is on the right. You can see that the hardware doesn't dangle nicely like the real one does. The hardware is shinier on the fake one and looks a little bit more, I'd say, plastic. And you can see the kind of grain on the fake bag. So here's a little bit closer up with the stitching. You can see that the stitching on the real one is closer to the outside and again it looks like real leather. Whereas the fake one, the stitching is further apart, the stitches are bigger and it has an embossed leather print. So finally, these two bags are clearly very similar. The main giveaways are that the print is brighter on the authentic bag and that the fake bag is made from inferior materials such as the tabs and details not being leather and they have like an embossed leather print to them. Overall, again, the prints nearly match up. You can see that the padding on the back of the bag is better than the fake one, it stands out more. Again, you can see the difference in terms of the brightness of the print. The handle is better quality on the authentic one. The tab, the leather tab at the bottom of the bags is softer because it's real leather on the authentic bag, but on the fake it just kind of sits there and doesn't really bend round. Thank you so much for watching my video today on the Louis Vuitton Palm Springs mini backpack real versus fake. I hope this has been some help to you. If you like this video and would like to see more real versus fake designer handbags, please don't forget to hit subscribe and leave me a comment below. Let me know what you liked about this video and which designer handbags comparisons you would like to see next.